right so this is like a lifesaver for me something that i've actually been looking for for quite some time and i just randomly found it today so i want to share it with you guys so you you have you know this feeling when you apply a preset and it's like dough but it's just too much uh, I like over-the-top pictures, but some people like even more over-the-top pictures. So, I found this plugin, it's called the Fader, and I will show you how to use it. So, you open it, you open the Fader, let's say I'll take Peter McKinnon's preset back, because in, in another video I already told you guys that I like them, but they're a bit too strong maybe. So, let's say we apply heat stroke. Bam, this is the preset. I mean, it's cool, but for me personally, the skin tones is a bit too um, edited, it's too orangey, too bright. So, normally you would start to uh, do something with the highlights, maybe go to the, to the U tab and change the color of the orange here, a bit of the skin. But now, with this uh, plugin, you can change the opacity of the preset. So let's say, bam, I click here and it becomes 60. Now, I don't know, it just looks great. Uh, skin tones are not too messed up anymore. It still has the same look and feeling of the preset. It's just a little less strong. So this is like awesome. It's just one, the preset, one click and your picture looks amazing. What it actually does is, uh, if you look here on the right, you see that, for example, now the highlights are minus 60 and the shadows are plus 11. If I put the preset a bit stronger again, it makes all the sliders slide towards the extreme. Like if you make the preset stronger, they slide to the extreme. If you make the preset less strong, they slide to the middle. So, for example, this preset had the highlights all the way down which is an, an extreme thing to do. And now if they're like at 60, then they're only at minus 60 because, you know, 60%. And it does this with all the sliders in all the tabs. That's why it keeps the same look, just a little less strong. It's actually, actually awesome. Now let's check it out with another one like Soho. It's more like a dark vibe. Hey, you know, it's cool. Again, for me, a bit too much. So I might put like 70 here. All right, maybe still a bit too strong. Like, let's go to 48, that's a bit too less. I have to say that one downside, clicking, it's not working that well. It's better to slide uh, for more control. So again, at around 60, I like it. Still has the same vibe uh, of the presets, like a bit more uh, darker, moodier look, you know, um, but just not over edited. So this is like amazing, amazing, amazing. And I'll show you in the next clip how to find it and how to install the plugin. So you can find the plugin on this website. It's capturemonkey.com slash the fader. You just download it and you go to the folder where it's downloaded. It will be a zip file, you unzip it. So you will have this file. You go to Lightroom, file, plugin manager, and here, you can press add, just go to the folder, like it's here, all right, here, select it, and I already I already installed it, so it's already there, normally you just have the screen here, where you just press OK, or I don't remember what it is, it's very obvious, and it's installed. All right, today I wanted to tell you, why I started making these kind of videos. So, I never went to photography school, never took any classes, everything, literally everything I learned, I learned it on YouTube, on this platform. And this platform is really, really amazing for like any skill you want to learn. Also the thing I really like, like the big difference with school, is you can look for the specific type of stuff that you want to learn. And I think it's really, really important to do it every day. I still do it now. Because after one year I think there's like so much more I can learn. So I try to watch more movies every day. 
and try to still improve. But because I think now I'm at a point where I'm capable of taking some good pictures and I learned so much on the platform that I want to give back to you guys by sharing what I know and hoping I can teach you something about things that I learned the past year. So if you found any of my tips useful and you think it really helped your photography, please make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel and also motivates me to make more stuff because if I know, this is the reason why I do it, if I know that I help somebody to become a better photographer or learn something new, uh, that is really what I do it for.